Hello, in this session we will talk about replicating data to provide hardware failure protection. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. In the previous session we looked into how Hadoop would store a file. A file will be broken down into multiple blocks. Each block would be of a fixed size and each block would be placed on a target computer in a cluster. Target computer will be determined by Hadoop randomly. So we understand that multiple computers are playing a role in storing your file. Let's say you have 10 computers. Chances are very high that at least one of the 10 computers will fail. Hardware failure could be as small as hard disk not working or it could be as big as the computer not working altogether. But bottom line is that if even one computer fails that is holding the blocks, your file will be unavailable. Hadoop addresses this issue by offering the replication. So Hadoop has been designed bottom up to address hardware failure protection. This is not something that was built on top of the software to offer hardware failure protection because Hadoop deals with big data and you need multiple computers to store the big data and hence ha hardware failure protection is a must feature. So this is how it would work. A file that you want to store would be broken down into blocks of fixed sizes and each block would be cloned. Here in this example, three copies would be made for each block and each copy would go into a different computer chosen randomly by the software. Number of copies is set to three by default. You can change the settings. If you reduce it to one, then that would be zero protection against hardware failure. You can afford to increase it to higher number if you have more computers in your cluster. So here in this example block 1 is stored on three computers computer 1, computer 4 and computer 6. Now if a computer fails the file will still be accessible. Let's say computer 3 fails, block 2 and block 4 are not available but two additional copies exist on other computers. Block Two is also available on computer one and computer five, so system will keep on working even if, let's say, computer one fails as well as computer three. System will still keep on working; the file will be available. 